Welcome back to the Chicago Tomahawk. I'm Mike. Got Matt up top, Justin on the bottom, and we're back with some NHL playoff fun. And uh, it's been, uh, I'll tell you what, guys, I think the playoffs this year have been have been great. The past few years, it seems like teams kind of come into the playoffs. It's not as chippy. And, um, and like, they just haven't been as exciting. This year, I think because guys have seen each other so much that uh, it just seems like guys just are, are sick of seeing each other and hate each other. But we're going to get started off here with the Toronto and Canadians series. Obviously, the grill in the room is John Tavares. What happened to him um, after you know seeing the footage? It was obviously uh, pretty pretty evident that Corey Perry did not mean to uh, did not mean to hit him. It wasn't intentional. Um, but with his uh, w- with what happened uh, t- to John is is just uh, uh, you know it's just unbelievable. You hate to see that happen to a player. And uh, it makes you wonder because he also got a knee injury along with the concussion. If um, if like maybe there should be some kind of uh, education with the players and the guys about uh, about what to happen if you if you think that you have a head a head injury, because when he set up uh, after he had gotten hit, he he, he kind of went backwards and. And I, I, I hate to throw you know the the training staff under the bus, but nobody really caught him. Do you know what I mean? And it didn't seem like there was really a, a, any any real um, like hustle to try to catch the guy from from falling back. And I think that he might have injured his knee uh, from that that falling back motion. Uh, what, what do you guys think? I mean, I I do not like Corey Perry. He's probably one of my least like. Uh, at least liked players in all of the NHL, but you could tell. I mean, he. There's nothing you could do. I mean, it was a it was a horrible situation. Um, I felt bad for him, and then I know I saw was it F- Felino said you know the next whistle he's like we got to get this over with, otherwise yeah. it's just going to get worse. So I like that. Yeah, I, I give him I give him credit. Um, you know, and and from what I read, Perry was a little shook up about it, and I would too. I mean, your knee went to the back of his head. I mean, he could have really done some damage to him. So. Um, I don't know if you guys saw. Did you guys see the clip of um, of Kyle Dubas running down from the press box, making phone calls? Like he was already on the phone with the agent and his wife, and like you know, kind of trying to do all set up all the correspondence to get everybody at the hospital. I was like, wow, that's that's a pretty you know awesome GM that you know he they showed him. He was literally like making a beeline for the ice to get everybody you know to where they needed to be. I was like, wow. So we'll uh, see. Yeah, I, it I was saw that. It, it was it was pretty. I mean. You know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of GMs would do that, but I thought that was kind of that was kind of cool to see. You can tell how close knit of a team they are, but um, I mean, like this is the rallying cry, right? They're going to rally around Tavares now and and hope that they win. I mean, if they would have lost that second game, I would have said, "All right, it's it's over," because they're gonna it's going to get in their heads now. But the fact that they came out and they won, they won uh, the next game. You know, I, and they, I mean, they won it definitively too, five to one. So. Um, We'll see. I mean, Campbell looked good that second game. I thought he looked good in the first game, too. He just didn't get as much help. There's a couple fluky goals, but um, yeah, it's 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 been a heck of a series. Like you said, uh, Mike, every playoff series has had something to write home about. They've all been pretty exciting so far, which has been awesome. What about you, Matt? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Corey Perry either. Uh, some people were saying it was accidentally on purpose. I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, but I hope he gets better soon because Tavares is a key player for him. But uh, who knows? Do you guys think he's even going to come back? No. I No, I think he's out for... It's a minimum of two weeks, right? With yeah. the concussion protocols. So. I mean, yeah. you hate to see it. But hey, they got a win last night. That's all that matters. Yeah. And it's kind of like they're rallying, you know. Kind of like them. what we talked about earlier. You know, Feligno, I think that he is the, in, in a way, the de facto... Um, captain on this yeah. team um yeah I, I believe the his quote was um he told Corey perry he goes there's a lot of gray in the game right now and what we need to do is we need to get this over with mm-hmm. so that so that both teams can get back to playing hockey yeah uh, i posted something just like that yeah saying, I, I believe that's what he said and, and i yeah. think that goes to show the leadership um from feligno number one and then Corey perry on the other hand saying all right yeah let's do it because um you know, he was honest. He says that he's he's friends with uh, with Tavares. He knows him well. They've yeah. they've, they've played with each other before, and uh, you know, answering the bell to Feligno after you accidentally hurt one of your friends, man, is is got to be 
uh, pretty tough. It takes balls. Yeah. It does, dude. I, I, it does on uh, on both of them, and it and it kind of just goes to show you how unique hockey is, and uh, you know just how great of a sport it is um, in general. Uh, but I think that Tavares, I you know oddly, you know he's such a big part of the team, but like you said. Uh, Justin, that he could be the rallying cry to kind yeah. of wake up the rest of the team, and, and you you just hate for something like that to happen, you know. Um, William Nylander, I, I think, has been somewhat invisible, you know, and, and I'm, I'm going yeah. out. Go, no, you, I was gonna say I, I would agree. I mean, I was shocked that some of their offense came from Spezza and you know Rasmus yeah. Sandin, and I mean Nylander did have he had a goal. I think he had a goal in the third period, but I mean by then it was already sort of out of it was kind of out of hand. It was just kind of like let's get this game over, over with by then. But uh right. I mean Kerf, Kerf, Alexander Kerfoot had a goal, so I mean they were getting scoring from pretty much across the board. Um I and it was crazy. I even saw like Zach Bogosian like jumped in on the rush a couple times and I was like, "What are you doing, dude? You that is <laughs> yeah. that is not the way you play." But uh, okay, so um yeah, I mean it's you know credit to Montreal. That first game they looked good. The second game, I they just I think you know the better team won out, and it showed the I wouldn't say experience because I don't know if the Leafs necessarily have the experience, but the the higher skill level kind of won out there. Um, but yeah, I mean it's 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 been a great series. I'm excited for tomorrow if they could go up two one and then start to start to close it out. You know by the middle of this week that would be great. Right. Uh, so let's move on to the Colorado uh, Blue series. Um, not really, I guess, much to talk about this <laughs> no. one. Colorado pretty much, pretty much steamrolled over them. Um, you know, I saw McKinnon today. You know, he was just a force to be reckoned with, man. He was doing a spinorama, shot it, got his own rebound, passed it to a guy. The guy sh- shot it, bounced off a player. He 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 gets, you know, McKinnon gets the rebound. It's like the guy's guy's absolutely everywhere. And Sod had a goal today too. Uh, and, and thinking about it, <laughs> I can't believe that. You know, thinking back on it, I think that Colorado won the deal with the Sad Zadorov or Zadorov trade. Um, <laughs> but uh, we'll what, see. What, what do you guys think of of the Blues? Do you think that they just did a disappearing act, or do you think it was just too much to overcome with uh, with Colorado? Out of gas, out of gas I, just, I think out of gas, and I think a combination of Colorado is just such a more complete team, right? Like, I mean, it, you know, I like I said, I think. Uh, uh, McKinnon could single-handedly beat you, and I think Matt, you texted us earlier today about Landis Cog. Like, I've never been a huge Landis Cog fan. I felt Neither, like he was right? kind of a little, yeah. little overrated, but some Largely. of the way he, so yeah, okay, I, I would agree with that too. But some of the way he was playing uh, the series, it's like, wow, is this, is this kind of his coming out party? But I mean, he's been in the league for almost what ten years, yeah. so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a little overdue. I mean, he was a high draft pick who, he's a free agent next year. Is he really? Um, I think UFA. But yeah, like I mean, they were just they were they were rocking. I think um, is it uh, what's the name of the coach? Bed- Bednar is that his name? Yeah, Jared Bendar, right? I think I don't think he gets enough credit. I think he's he's doing good. I mean, granted, when you have that kind of talent, every, you know, he, they're going to make him look good. But uh, yeah, it took I just a think while. St. Louis is it took overmatched. A while it did to get there. It took him a little while to get it going, but now they've got their thing. My my question for you guys is: What do you think of that Kadri hit in the suspension? Eight games for that? I thought enough. I'll go ahead, Ben. Not enough. I can't stand that guy. I think he's garbage. He is the uh, definition of a. I mean, he's a repeat offender every year. He does something. Yeah, every year in in the playoffs, right? Usually mm-hmm. against Boston. Yeah. Doesn't he? Yeah. When he was with Toronto, yeah. I thought it was. I, I thought it was garbage. a garbage hit. He's a um, garbage player. I think he just they, he's yeah. I think they Go said ahead, he stayed out of trouble last year. Yeah. One year, but um, it was a, it was it was a terrible hit. I thought it was a brutal hit to be honest with you. There's no point. There was no point to making. There's it. no point to it, yeah. and it's just he he put. I feel like Cod Kadri puts himself in these situations where he he you know he gets behind the play or whatever for the whatever the reason is, and then he makes these hits to like try and redeem himself, and it's always horrible. I mean, like that was that was just a dumb lazy hit it, that had like shame. you said, man, it had no purpose. Yeah. It had no he purpose. He has skill, so. and he plays he does. like a freaking idiot. Yeah. So. It's like a Tom Wilson. He's like the same. You know, people are all over Tom Wilson. He's no better than the, I think. I still remember. Same. I think it was uh, it was when the Leafs played the Red Wings at um, was it Univer- at the Big House in University of Michigan, the Winter Classic that one oh, year. Yeah, the outdoor, and they did the twenty four seven. And man, they made Kadri look like an idiot. Just like the way he talked to the coaches and the questions he asked, yeah. it just seemed like the guy had no common sense whatsoever. But <laughs> there's a clip of Kadri and. Uh, Crosby 
talking mm-hmm. to the refs. You guys, ever oh seen yeah, that? I have seen that. And yeah, Sid goes, this guy's diving all over the place. Are you guys serious right now? And Kadri's like, if you, Sid, you know, and it, this want to be like, dude, Crosby, you, could, dude, you, you like couldn't even cups. bow you down to him. Like, I, I know. Even, yeah, like, who are you, dude? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so we all agree, we all agree, Kadri's trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just is probably happy he's not on the Leafs anymore. Yeah, I was. I was pretty psyched yeah. when they. I, I was really excited for that trade to get Tyson Berry, and then obviously that didn't work out. But Kadri just was uh, – he he never – I was excited when they drafted him because I thought he would be something, but the the aspirations they had for him were clearly not what he yeah. was destined for. So <laughs> Epcock wanted him to be a number one. Yeah, and there was no way that was one. that was not going to happen. Yeah. That was Abcock not going to happen. That. Yeah. Well, wow. Bab- Babcock says a lot of things. So yeah, he, he wanted him on the offense. No, on the old yeah. house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get you get a point for working that in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to Vegas and Minnesota. Uh Minnesota surprised Vegas with the uh with the win to start off the series. Vegas has gone off for three straight wins. Do you think that Vegas ends it? Yes. Well, yep. Yeah. I don't think win- Minnesota's got one more win in them. No, Flurry's I, on fire. Okay. Flurry's on fire. I think it was kind of like, hey, it's cute. You guys got here. You got to win. Good for you. Now get out. So I, <laughs> they're I, playing I, good. You got to give them credit. I mean, I mean they're, they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're staying with them. It's it's exciting to see. I think Minnesota is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the, ne- in the near future, uh, which is, you know, wonderful once they come back into our division yeah. next year. Um, but I mean, Vegas is just kind of like Colorado and St. Louis, like Vegas is just too, there's, they have too much. I mean, and yeah. you got flurry standing on his head. I mean, like Vesna candidate right now. Right. So I think um, those yeah. two are going to play each other. Right. If, Who's that? If Vegas Colorado wins. and Vegas. Yeah. Um, is that how yes, it's going to happen? Yes. Yes. Is that yes. how it is? Okay. Yes. I think flurry will be the difference maker if they win. I could see that. I mean, he totally, their Vegas is goaltending is on, way above Colorado's. Yeah. And they got Leonard yeah. just sitting there and he's yeah. good too. He's just the he's like the cavalry. That's what can you scary. imagine? Yeah, Flurry has a bad game. We'll throw Leonard in, and he can change it. Yeah, it makes and you then, wonder where Leonard's head is at right now, though, because you know that he's dying to get in there. Yeah, and yeah. he's the type of goalie who likes to play all the time as well. Yeah, That's true. He signed on dotted line though, knowing that Flurry's going to be there. Yeah, I'm just, like I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like I'm, I wonder where 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 he's at with it's, everything right now. It's got to be tough. Yeah, yeah it's gotta, but I mean, if you get a Stanley Cup ring, I mean, it ain't going to matter. Sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Oilers and Winnipeg. Matt, Oof. can you give us an update on that game? Ooh, yeah. It was uh It was playing right now and it was it tied was, four to four. Yeah, it was four four. Going to O T, right? Yep. Going to O T. Four four. Good oh, comeback man. by the Jets. OT? Wow. Wow. Oilers, they did wake up today. McDavid, uh three three assists, dry sidle, two two goals. Uh Zach Kazian even put one in. It was is, a nice one too. That was a nice shot. If That's your, your goon. <laughs> if Winnipeg wins this series or downright sweeps them, you think heads roll in Edmonton and they oh, make big changes, man. or what do you think they do? I don't like. They're I don't get even rid know of what, Smith. I think well, yeah. they're going to make a push to get a a number one, a true number one goalie. They yeah. they have to. They have to. Yeah, especially with Connor McDavid scoring a hundred points and oh, I'm sorry, a hundred was it hundred and four points in fifty six games, and, and yeah. uh, can't get out of the first round. There would have to be a. Uh, there would have, I would think that there there would need to be changes, but at the same time, the players play the game. You know, yeah. When you've yeah. got a guy who's scoring 104 points during the regular season and the playoff starts, and we're we're about what three games in, and he's only got what two assists, three assists. Three. Yeah, you know, that's, that's not good enough. That's not. It's <laughs> no. I. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know like some of the hockey podcasts I was listening to this week, they were talking about Paul Maurice pretty much said like, you know, our goal is to shut down that first line and just hope that Hellebuck can save us. Like they don't have enough firepower to stand up with them. But right. if you can throw everything at that first line and then hope you can withstand the top, the other three lines, which that's a tall order and somehow Winnipeg has done it. I'm I'm shocked. I thought this I thought it yeah. would be, you know the complete other way around but i mean that's awesome i mean that's what i love about playoff hockey you never know what's going to happen so i thought the jets the the first period they were like backing away from mcdavid i don't know they if were. you guys noticed yeah. that i was like yeah they were get on this guy man just get yeah. a stick within two feet of him yeah he's and the catalyst he, for for everything oh yeah, yeah. You, everything's yeah, going to come through him at some point whether it's especially if it's a power play i mean you know it's it's going to him right I right mean, so you mentioned put a it body t- on him. you mentioned it t- uh, earlier matt he has he has the secondary ins- assist in all game in all the the goals, right? Yep, or at least three of them, right? Yep. 
Through all three of them. It goes to show you that he's he's starting to play. Yep. You know, yeah. That the players are starting with him. So, um, yeah, it's it's clear uh, what they're doing. And um, it looks like Drysdale is trying to step up, but, you know. The first goal was sick. It was. was a nice goal. I thought his second goal was a pretty good shot, too. Well, yeah. He had he had good yeah. good positioning. That's so, the first one, though, that is so hard to do. Like yeah. When you're, like, going behind the net for, you know, like a flyby. Yeah. Just to stop and, and the go goal around his arm. And it's just right. crazy. Yeah. One right. motion, you know, it's skill. Yeah. So if Winnipeg wins tonight, the pressure is clearly on on Edmonton and I think that the pressure possibly might be too much for them to uh, to come That's, out of. Yeah, for they're sure. not good enough to win four in a row. No. 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 I I think it it yeah. And I just think the the I think at that point it, it gets in the psychological effect of you got to go you got to win four in a row. You're in a huge hockey market like Edmonton that's crazy and you know the the media is going to come down on them hard and it you know Ken, Kenny Holland's going to get it. I think you know Mike Smith's going to get a, the brunt of it. I mean it's it's going to be very interesting to watch from afar at least. Right. I I can't name that many players on the team honestly. I, no. Beside McDavid and Drysital, I, I Mike Cassian. Smith. Cassian, <laughs> Mike Smith, and then Darnell uh, Nurse. Nurse, Darnell Nurse, yeah, Barry, and, and um, uh, the who's the freaking? Uh, I Nugent couldn't even Hopkins. tell you who their back. T- yeah, oh yeah, I couldn't yeah. tell you who their backup goalie is. I don't. Kos- I don't Koskinen or is Koskinen? It Kos- same oh, guy from last year. Okay, he's terrible. That's right. Yeah, that's he's right. terrible. <laughs> yep. All right, so we've got. We'll see how this game ends up today, but there's a possibility that Winnipeg could steal this series, which is actually really surprising a lot of people are going to be wrong in their pools <laughs> yeah yeah no kidding yeah and we've got uh we've got pittsburgh and the islanders tied up two games apiece and that's been a pretty interesting series it has yeah i i've I, when i was watching the other day i it, it seemed like the islanders were you know how normally you see like a really high octane offense kind, yeah. kind of a thing it seems like they have like a pretty like steady lineup like that's, th- there's nobody jumping off of the page. No, now, even Bar- uh, Barzil hasn't really been too noticeable. But it seems like uh, all four lines have been playing pretty steady. I yeah. I think the big the big difference for me is you look at when Bar- Varlamov plays and you look when Sorokin plays and it's night and day. It mm-hmm. is two totally different. Like Varlamov has got a three point six one goals against and nine oh three save, but yeah. then Sorokin's got a one point seven six and nine point four four save percentage. So I mean, He'll I. Be in I I would imagine he, they're gonna roll with him now, right? Like, I, yeah. I guess you gave you gave the the vet the chance to take the reins, and I think they lost both games with him, right? Or like, yeah, yeah I think they I think lost they both did. games with him. So, yep. I, I mean, like you like you said, Mike, to to Barry Trotz's credit, they are not flashy. I would even sometimes call them downright boring with yeah. the system they play. But I mean, if you can just kind of wear down Pittsburgh and you know shut down Crosby and Malkin and some of those other guys and. You know, you 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 hammer on Tristan Jari when you can, and uh, that's why it's two two right now. You know, so we'll see. They're like Nashville East. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're like so boring to watch, yeah. but they win. Except I don't hate them. Way. So I like Barry Trotz. I think I what too. he did. He's, he's, he's one of my favorite guy. coaches. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna he's, say uh, New Jersey two point oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Lou Lamorello was on the two thousand PM. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, we got the Capitals and Bruins. Boston takes that series. Four games to one. Now, I was pretty surprised by that. I thought that it would have been a closer. So did I. A closer series, and uh, and it wasn't. Boston was just too much for them. I actually saw T- Taylor Hall play defense today. It was it was crazy. <laughs> so it uh, looks like uh, things are on uh, on the change over there. You know, what do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think. I mean, Boston's just they got to be a cup fav- cup favorite, right? Like they're I mean, playing hard. They're they're rocking in Washington. I would have expected a little bit more. I know they're a little injured and banged up and stuff, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. I I mean, Ovi's not getting any older. Or I'm sorry, not getting any younger. So I mean, it, it makes you wonder how much he's got left. But well, he's yeah. free agent too, right? Yeah, I think. Oh, you're I, right. yeah. I, I could have sworn I, I read somewhere that they were going to work out a contract for like another like five year contract. Oh wow! Yeah. Jeez. I would just do one year deals. These are just these are just rumors. I mean, I don't know for sure. I but could I could see them being like uh, indefinite. Like, hey, you're you're here forever until you're ready not to be. I mean, the problem is that when you have a player that can't take the hint that it's time to go, it's time to retire. Yeah, you know. And I I don't know how Ovechkin will be, but Chara. you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Chara is a perfect example. 
you yeah, stay you, you stay one year too long, and then the drop off of your skills is so apparent. But you know, and, I, and I think you lose Ovechkin. your former team. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ovechkin would definitely fall in line. I mean, I don't know for sure, but you know, he's he's after the Gretzky's record, and he yeah. might try and stay on for as long as he can until he can until he can break that. You know, and then I could see get, him going back 20. to the KHL and just playing there after he, you know, after he retires, for, being like yeah, Yager. for thirty-five million a year. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. for SKA uh, St. Petersburg, he can, he can be Putin's right winger, <laughs> left winger. So <laughs> him and Kovalchuk. Yeah. 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 All right, we've got the Canes and Nashville. That series is tied up two to two. I think we were kind of expecting that a bit. Um, or actually, were, were, were we saying the Canes were going to sweep Nashville in our predictions? I think I was. I can't remember. I think okay. you guys I'm might sure have had the, the better case of giving them a game. I don't know, but yeah, it could be. It realistically could be over. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, one goal, uh, one shot. <laughs> Juicy yeah. Soros. He yeah. uh, he had um, shoot how many saves? He had like fifty something in two games. Was it? Yeah, is that wow. what they said? Something like that. Yeah, he had yeah. what a machine. He he was insane. Absolutely insane. Just, I mean, I give well, the guy all the credit in the world because he who was, was. Who was the Carolina goalie? I, N- Nadelkovic. Nadelch- yeah, that's it. Yeah. He made some huge saves in that third period. Nashville was, they were pumping on him. And actually the puck was went right to a guy wide open. He stuck his leg out. I think he got it on the skate. But yeah. he had a huge game. I yeah, think he's, they found their guy. Yeah. I mean, it. yeah. Soros is just... I, I've I've been sh- I can't stand the Predators, but credit to them for keeping he's keeping them in the series. But like you said, I think Carolina I think Carolina will have the wherewithal to finish it out. And, and yeah, they're they're going back home. That goalie has been awesome yeah. to see. He yeah. he's he's gonna gonna be something next year. So you know it it seems like Nashville has you know some teams they kind of they go into the playoffs you don't know what you're gonna get. It looks like Nashville has just pretty much just taken over where they were in the regular season. You know, it's like it's the same team, same effort. They're doing Playoff the same things. Too. They're, yep. they're yep. scoring the same types of goals. They're staying in the in 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 games the same way that they did in the regular season. Right, you know, fighting until the end. You know, and to be honest with you, man, I hate them, but they look dangerous. <laughs> you know, they yeah. do it just with their style of play. They don't quit, and they, they, you know, they just won't fuck off. You know, yeah. No matter how bad I want them to, <laughs> but uh, but hey, it, it is what it is. I'm, I, I think this game could, this series can go seven games. I think that Nashville can drag it out. Probably think so. Will. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they have a couple more lucky goals in their system. Yeah, that could be. That could. I think. I think it could go that far. I, I don't see why it couldn't. I mean, there it's there is a lot more evenly matched than I thought it was. You know, from the get go. So right. But yeah. And finally, we've got the battle. Well, I, I don't even know if we can even call it the battle in Florida. The the, uh, <laughs> the slaughterhouse. The lightning. The lightning. And Florida, um, or, the, or I should say, the Lightning and the Goon Squad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow. You know, uh, Playing like dicks. I, I couldn't. I couldn't believe it, man. It's it's almost like like we're in the, like the Twilight Zone. You know, yeah. is it like is I, this is this really happening right now? That's not Q-ish. You know, no, I, that's I, I'm no, shocked. Man. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's just like an all out. They're they're panicking because that first game it was such a, t- a close close battle and then yeah. now it's starting to get away from them and they don't know what to do so yeah well kucherov answered all your questions mike he's fine oh yeah. is he? <laughs> he's good to go oh is he gonna play tomorrow i, I think he's gonna play tomorrow okay Did, no i'm just saying you you were worried about him sitting all year he's oh yeah like yeah four he points is. a game no big deal yeah no big deal I another mean, day at the office he's just been hanging out you know <laughs> yeah just, just hey you know let's just cir- completely circumvent the uh the cap let's do it <laughs> <laughs> But, oh uh, man! But they've been, um, um, I they they've they've been playing great, you know. And and Florida, it just seems like they're they're like giving up in a way, like with their style of play, like yeah. they, like they weren't trying. It didn't seem like they were trying to win. It looked like they were purposely trying to hurt people, you know. And did they yeah. did they give an update on Kucherov's knee? I have uh, not heard anything. Yet. They don't know yet. Oh okay, because they were mentioning he was uh ha- having knee issues. Okay. Yeah, well, that I, slash look vicious. You, you know that's yeah. that's another thing, yeah. man. Unnecessary. If, if if he's if he's hurt, like say he's a like a torn MCL or something, you know, Duclair should be put on uh, should have disciplinary actions for that because he was the one who did yeah. the, the the. Did you slash, guys hear right? anything about that? Like, no, I haven't heard anything. anything yeah, yet. Nothing. Yep, nothing. Not a single thing. 
No, and I, Weber got fined, didn't he? For a I slash? believe so. I believe he five did, grand yeah. or something. That's chump change for him, but yeah, still at least yeah. they gave him a fine. I, you know, I, I, I love Q, but I don't know what he's doing with his goaltending. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're going now. You're going to Spencer Spencer Knight, right? That's the Who, rumor. This yeah. is crazy. We we didn't even talk about a uh, a goalie drama in Florida. No, like <laughs> there's I, so much I, drama in Florida. There's crazy. Just, I did not. I I don't know what they're doing. I I mean, you play who's the best. So I mean, I I get that if you're not going to play Bobrovsky, right? Yeah, who, that's who I thought they were going to play. But then it was Bobrovsky, and now you're bringing in Spencer Knight. It 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 looks like the the mentality of a team who the ship is going down, and now they're just like they're doing everything they can just to keep the water from rising. But I I think yeah. it's over. That could be so. bad though if you throw that kid in the fire. And it's, like it's now, awful. Yeah, when you're on the brink of elimination. That could kill his confidence. Yeah, if he like has a bad game in Tampa, they're on fire right now. I, I yeah. wouldn't do that you're, to the kid. You're not going really to stop him. Stick yeah. stick Bobrovsky out there. He's the veteran, and you know if you don't want to ruin the other kid, the other kids' uh, I, I opportunities. But I wouldn't. And yeah. I'm sure the kid wants to go. I mean, I yeah. Would, hell yeah, I'm going to jump in there and try to save it for my team. But if one bad period, that yeah. kid could be like, oh my god, I let my team down. You know. Yeah. Yeah, but what if he stands on his head and they win? Then he's a freaking hero. Yeah, that, yeah. That's it's, the thing. It's, it's yeah, it's feast or famine. It's it's yeah. yeah. There's no in between. It's it's either going to be amazing but or you want to take that horribly. chance yeah, on your know. future. You know, like yeah, that that's could, not a good look. That's all they talk about. Uh, Spencer Knight had a bad game. It's like, well, okay, it was his first playoff game ever. Like at least put him in and like a not an elimination game. Or a relief, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's not, not a that's big what I don't game get. like that. That's like throwing them in Game Seven Stanley Cup Final. Like, all right, kid, yeah. go get us a win. Have at it. So, yeah. so here's so here's the scenario leading into the off season. I mean, whether they win or lose, you know, coming up, what do they do with Bobrovsky? Edmonton. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I hadn't even thought about Seriously, that. Seriously, like, what? Where else? Where else could he go? They got. Who needs they a got goalie? the cap room, right? He, he, yeah. Well, here, here's well, another thing, Matt. I mean, F- Florida is a team that's looking to, you know, to make it to go further. And obviously Edmonton is too. If if Florida can do it with Bobrovsky, how is Edmonton going to do it? Do you think like a change of scenery can can help him? I, I don't know. It's I, an I upgrade think, over Mike yeah. Smith in general. I think that's yeah. all that's, that's all you I, can that's well that's, that's how you yeah. pitch it to your fan base anyway. So And at least you're trying, like, hey, we need to upgrade net. We got a guy who, you know, he's really good in the season, but kind of yeah. questionable in the playoffs. I think Bobrovsky would be better off going back to Columbus, honestly. I thought he had his best years there. Well, yeah, and, it, and if it had anything to do with Torts, Torts isn't there anymore now. So I don't, you know what? I read that Panarin and Torts, they still talk all the time. Like, oh, really? He, Panarin, yeah. Oh, Davidson actually said that on XM. Wow. He's like, you know what? People get a, the wrong idea with those guys. They love Torts. It's just Bob wanted money that we couldn't give him. And $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> Panarin wanted to be in the spotlight. And yeah, he yeah. Was, he's not going to get that here. That's no, what he said. neither neither one of them are going to get. They, I mean, that's yep. something Columbus can't offer. So, yeah. But, wow. Yeah. So, Matt, do you, do you got any? Uh, do you got any other NHL news? Uh, well, I'm just constantly hitting the refresh button over here, and it's still tied for oh, four. I, I know. I'm waiting to hear yeah. like, oh, Winnipeg comes nope. out and wins. It. Yeah, down three zero. <laughs> <laughs> wins it in OT. That would that would be crazy, but Man, uh, yeah, it would. you know the headlines are pretty much uh, Kucherov is uncertain. Knight could be starting Game Five, and Tavares knee injury, and he's got a concussion, so it's probably a minimum of I would say longer than two weeks. But that's the concussion protocol, I think. Yeah, yeah, for so, sure. And I if his sure. knee's damaged, he might not even see the ice again. Yeah, that's true. If he has to. If they make it to say like maybe the Western Conference Finals, I think there could be a possibility of him coming back, especially mm-hmm. considering that they said that there was he's not having any um, concussion symptoms right now. But okay. uh, but th- then at the same time, it's like, do we play him? You know, should we yeah. should we go with our squad that we have now and see if we make it to the finals? And if then they're bring winning, him back yeah, in? yeah, you don't want to change, you know. Yeah, that's a tough call. Yeah, especially him being their captain. Yeah. That's yeah, you it, you nailed it, Mike. I don't know. That, that would suck if they made it, you know, and he can't even be on the ice with his team. Right. Well, I'm sure he would go out there, but it's not the same when you're, you know, 
not competing. Not playing, yeah. yeah. Especially for him. I mean, he's a you know number one draft pick. He's a Toronto boy he's, too. He, Toronto, you know? yeah. He's a Toronto team. boy. It's he's freaking a, heartbreaking. You know, face of the franchise. Imagine them winning a cup and he's you know sitting in the press box. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Well, but he exactly. did it first. You know, he but at the same first, time, though. he did it in yeah. the service of his team. You know, so it's not like it's he like was... Stamkos last year. He played one playoff game. Yeah, I think. Right? <laughs> Do you remember yeah. that uh, one game? Scored a goal. He scored yeah. a goal. And he's like, I'm done. I'm done. My knees. I'm done. out. Yeah. Do you remember that uh, that uh, that thing that I sent you from Instagram? That picture of it had like that kid, like he just won like a track event. And he was like in fifth place, and he was like to everybody else, "Fuck you," <laughs> with the champagne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> man, that was so funny, man. But um, what else you got, man? Uh honestly, I don't have much. I it's just been rock and roll playoff time. I, I'm favorite series is Florida, Tampa. Mm-hmm. It's old time hockey. It's Dave Hansen hockey. Yes, it is. <laughs> and yes, uh, it is. I hope Tampa could close it out tomorrow, so I can keep. Rubbing it in Mike's face. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you know, it'll be funny if uh, if uh, Florida, it, uh, who knows what happens, they take this. We're gonna we're just gonna refer to them as the Goon Squad from now. Yeah, pretty in, much. Into perpetuity. Yeah. I'm curious. I'm Spencer Knight. I good luck to you if you're in. It's <laughs> yeah, gonna, it's, have at it, man. Good it's luck. It's not like you're going against the Blackhawks. It's yeah. the freaking champs yeah. <laughs> that are loaded Ooh, and ready man. to go. Yeah. So you know what though? He's, he could be the man there. This could. Seal a deal. I would think as a competitor that, I mean, that's the reason that he's there. He wants to play oh, yeah. against the best. He, yeah. He wants to be in there. But if, like, management, like, even coaching, shoot, I'm going to throw this kid in. Like, Q, Q doesn't like young guys. He doesn't. No, like that's he, why I'm so surprised. Yeah. You know? Hey, Nick but, Letty, he ran out of town. He and did, man. He could have been the freaking future for us. You know, you know Nick he, Letty, he just needed more time. I, I, I think that he sh- he showed a hell of a lot more promise than uh, Nick Nick uh, Boquist does. I thought he was fine. Oh, yeah. I never I knew thought what so the too. problem was. I, yeah. He just didn't like him. I would feel so much better if we still had Nick Letty and TVR on the back end of the defense. I mean. Where's he at now? Is he? I don't the, know where he is. He even still playing he's in the jumping around. Yeah, he's jumped around. Okay, I'll have to look that up later. Yeah. I don't, man, I don't know where he's Thought at. Thought he was so. okay. Yeah, serviceable. Q, Q just <laughs> like Roosevelt, I, and I yeah, couldn't stand he, yeah, it. He would trip yeah, trip on the blue line too. and gone. Yeah, you know, perfect example of a guy, another guy that Roosevelt. I liked him, but again, st- took her, stayed around one year Q too long. Q just like the old guys. One of Q, one of Q's yeah. one of Q's boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, and I don't know why. Actually, I, that, I mean, a perfect example right now is that's why Duclair and a. Uh, and Gustav Forslings are on the team. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're right. I forgot Duclair, about that. I'm not a, after that slash. He's he's just a typical goon. Yeah. <laughs> With wheels. Yeah. A fast yeah, goon. He's got a skill and it's like why it's like why the worst kind. Playing yeah. Playing that way. Yeah, he I mean he's shown, you know, some some and flashes. Hornquist, Hornquist came back to his uh gritty Nashville days. Yeah, he did. Know. Yeah. He's he's thrown his body. He got kicked out, I, and I think Patrick Maroon got kicked out. But Patrick Maroon's like their, you know, uh, I guess you could say like their Cassian. You know, he's like yeah. per, out there protecting those guys. But he could play. Yeah, he he's can. got a he's got some he, grit he, to him. He could play. I hate him, For but sure. yeah, you can play. I agree. Uh, Justin, do you got anything else, man? No, just uh, go Leafs and uh, oh man, I'm I'm hoping oh, boys. I'm hoping, what do we got? What do we got? Five four win, Jets. Wow! <laughs> All right, I'm I'm hopping on the Man. Jets bandwagon now. Wow. I just like to see some. I like to see some commotion. Take Edmonton down a peg. Can you imagine being a fly on the wall in Edmonton right now? Holy smoke! Uh, uh, trying to see who the game winner was, and I believe it was Nicholas or Nikolai Ehlers. Oh, wow. he just he came had, back from injury, yeah, right? Two Assisted goals tonight. by Stastny. Yep. Wow. Yep. Two them. goals tonight. I his like first game. Them. His first game in. Yep. Man, that's awesome. So now we can update update this in real time. Yep. Winnipeg up on the Oilers three nothing. Um, and are they are they going to be in Winnipeg? They're in Winnipeg, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. The wow. Second home game. So yep. game four is in Winnipeg. Four. Yeah. So that's. Uh, I'm, I'm calling a sweep. I'm thinking there's going to be a sweep. Yeah, I don't know. I think McDavid's gonna have his last stand, but he's got to score some goals. <laughs> he's yeah. he's gonna do. He's, he's gonna have to yeah. do it all himself. He's just gonna tell everybody else to you know 
stay in the dressing room. He's going to be on line one, two, three, and four, top power play and penalty kill. He might yeah. even jump in net. Uh, might Dreisaitl, need him was, to. Dreisaitl was playing on the yeah. penalty kill tonight. Yeah. Oh, man. I like what, said, a, what a mess. Wow. What a mess Edmonton is. Oh, man. Unreal, man. Like Unreal. I said, name five, well, six players. You can't. We don't know the rest of the... You, you, I can't. I was watching the, <laughs> I was yeah. watching the game. Yeah, watching the game. I still yeah. can't. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. All Holy right. Cow. So next time we come back, we'll have updated, uh, updated stats on this board, and we'll definitely see uh, where uh, where Tampa Bay and Florida are at. Where the Pens? What are we calling with the Pens and Islanders? The game that's going to be seven games. It's two two. I think. Oh yeah. That might go seven. seven. Yeah. And yeah, uh, there's a p- possibility of Nashville and Carolina going seven. Uh, the Avalanche are going to a resort while they wait. <laughs> Play some <laughs> like golf. Tahoe. And yeah. ve- and Vegas is um, Vegas is looking to we'll close it out. Tomorrow. Close it out. The, I the think wild. so. Yeah. I think All so. All right. Cool. And we got and we've only got the Leafs have played two games so far. Yeah. And, and we've got two. What is it? Two two series that are already done. Played. Well, what do you games. think? Just seven Leafs. Oh uh, no! I'm thinking. I'm thinking after last night's game. I'm thinking. No, oh, I'm gonna say Leafs in five. I or Leafs Ooh. in six. I think. I think that might have been the that might have been the rallying yeah. cry they needed to to get their heads out of their ass and uh and just take it to them. Now we'll see. Well, you, you were you were barking about Neatlander, right, Mike? Yeah. Well, just who who did you like better, Neatlander or Kapanen? Because they got Ooh, rid of Kapanen. They got rid of Kapanen, right? yeah, to Pittsburgh, yeah. Um, I saw a lot of speed with that guy. I liked him. Yeah, I, I think, I I think Kapanen, I think he might be the long-term pick. I think he needed more time to kind of develop where Nylander was a little more ready to go from the get-go. Uh, Kapanen also, I think, is cheaper than Nylander, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's the playoffs. You want these big contracts. you got to earn them now. So, Nylander's got to keep rolling it and keep stepping up if he, if he's going to earn his paycheck. So. Well, can we get Michael Nylander and we'll give him, you know, his I'll kid? Take, we'll, I'll take William Nylander William, over, William. or <laughs> Alex Nylander. Alex, yeah, we'll take, we'll take Michael. At this point, I would take Michael, too. I get him out of retirement. He's probably better than Alex. Yeah, he wins <laughs> face-offs, which we need. Yeah. <laughs> I remember he had us. He used to do a commercial on the score like twenty years ago. It was for some like odor, your bag smells kind of stuff. <laughs> number ninety two, right? Number ninety two. Yep. Yeah, you got yeah. it. Only number ninety two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh, with Nicholas Backstrom, right? Is he ninety two for uh, Washington? Bernie uh, Bernie Nichols was ninety two on yeah, the Hawks, he was. right? He was. I thought he was ninety one. No. Oh man, ninety two. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey you're getting old man it happens <laughs> <laughs> alright guys that's all that we got for you tonight this is Tom Hawk we're out